Hi there everyone, my name is George Wallace. Today I'm going to teach you how to change your user ID on eBay, connect your PayPal account and to change your password. First of all we need to log in to eBay. So we'll start first of all with where we did before and we'll sign in. Click on here and we'll use this email address here, put in our password. Now to make this easier, so you can see what's going on, what we'll do is, we'll do the same thing with this other account here as well. Sign in again, do the same thing. So, now we've done that first of all, we'll now go into this, we'll now go in and we'll look at the support first of all here. So, we want to go into first of all, contact us. We'll click on find an answer and we want to change the user ID. So we'll type into here change user ID. So we shall search on that and that will come how do I change my user ID? Very simple go to my eBay, my account, personal information. Click edit to the far right and to of your user ID. So let's go to here first of all. We'll go to my eBay. I said first of all. Go back to here again and it says my account and personal information. So we'll then go to account and personal information. And here we have user ID. Which is W A W L A F Y L dot D six J Z O. So we'll edit that. Now before we do this, we sign in again. This is part of the, the, the security that, that eBay puts onto you. So we'll log in again like this. We'll now change this, which is so we want to change the user ID. Keep the following in mind. Advantages, you can change the user ID to what it's related to, the buy or sell. Disadvantages, your partners may not be able to find you as easily. You can change your user ID once every 30 days. The change user ID icon will appear next to your user ID. To change your user ID, enter a new ID below and click save. So, we'll just say for argument's sake here that we're going to see what we're going to do. Okay, what, what, what we're going to sell. So let's try, we're going to sell cosmetics. So we'll, put, we'll call ourselves Foundation. And we'll give our number of 223. Okay. And we'll save that. Here we go to Waiting Checks. And look, we were allowed to use Foundation 223. That's absolutely fine. And we've done okay. So we're okay there. Now, We've changed that now, now we cannot change it again now for 30 days, okay? So that's absolutely fine, okay? Alright? Now your customers will not be able to find you first of all, but soon they'll find you again. Sales may drop off a bit and then they, they will pick up again. Alright? We'll then go back to here and we can see that the user ID up here has been changed to Foundation 223. We'll go back to my eBay and the summary. Here we can say Nice foundation, foundation 223, recently been up updated, member since 16th of the 6th, 2014, which was yesterday. We can edit the profile here and we can change all sorts of things here, but I'm not going to do that at the moment, okay? Now, at the bottom of every page of eBay page, there is a thing called sitemap. This is an incredibly powerful thing you can use with eBay and you'll find a lot of times when you want to do something, if you go to sitemap, you'll find you can actually get there, no problem at all. So we're going to look for PayPal down here. Look around here properly first of all and we can see all different things are in here. There's a feedback, sell resources, registration, categories. Selling activities, marketplace safety, news, connect, members, my eBay, 
and there you go, F and zero key. And here we have PayPal account. So we'll click on PayPal account, and up comes zero key. Now we have a choice of two things here. We can either take it to sign up, or we can link to an existing PayPal account. Now I already have a, a, a PayPal account, so we'll go link to it. So up comes the information first of all. And what we need to do first of all is we need to update our in information. Obviously I'm not going to put in my address because you wouldn't like to see this properly. But we'll make it 23 uh, stone F-I-E-L-D park. Then we'll call it uh, Stonehenge. We'll put the postcode as TT4 space 7YR. Okay. Make the city. We'll make that, let's say, a good place. Stonehenge again, will we? Set. Country. County. We're going to put ourselves, I think, we'll put ourselves into Dorset. Okay. And we'll continue with that. Valid phone number. So we'll put our number here. 0207 6754 Okay. And we'll continue with that. We can link to our existing PayPal account here. I'm not going to do this because I obviously don't want to show you this, but what we quite simply do here is we would enter our PayPal email address into here and our, pay our PayPal password into here. And from that, you can then link your account and that will link your account without any problem at all. If you're going to do it the other way and create an account, what you would do then is to actually link up to your PayPal account, you put all the information you need into your PayPal account and away we go and that, that would be the whole thing done properly. So now what we'll do is we're going to go back into this place in here again, as we were before. So, we now want to go and change our password. If we look down here on the left hand side here before, we had personal information down here. So we'll just click on there again. And here we have password. We want to edit password. So, Enter your registered eBay email if you don't if you don't remember your email address. Enter your user ID. We called ourselves Foundation One Two Three. But we'll, but we'll, what we'll do first of all is we'll put in the old email address. As you can see, you can't actually remember anything at all here, so everything is totally locked here. eBay. Oops. E. Get right eventually. A test. One two three four at gmail dot com and we'll continue. Try again. eBay test one two three four at gmail dot c o m eBay test 9999 at email.com. That's okay. Now there's an email being sent to this eBay address. If you go to here, here we have eBay change user ID confirmation. That's come through okay. And we should find reset your password. Here was the welcome to eBay that was sent when we actually logged into eBay yesterday on June the 16th. User ID confirmation change was done at 10 past 10 tonight, and six minutes later we did reset your password. Click on here. This is to check that you actually did this thing properly and everything's been done properly, okay? So, we'll now link on there. Click on the link. Create a new password. Let's put a new password in of. It's medium strength, and we'll confirm it again. And we shall submit it. 
Now we need to log back in again. So we'll go back to this one here again, which is that one there, and we'll put in our new password. And here we back back in again. Everything done properly. Foundation two two three. We've had no feedbacks. Everything's working just fine. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to go back over this thing again, and we're going to go show you all the things we've done to get a, a check again. So eBay user ID, PayPal and password. We want to make our user ID based on what we're going to sell. So we could use selling soap, we could be selling cars, we could be selling brushes. We actually took found a foundation, so we're going to sell cosmetics. As you see there, we could use Soapy123, Cars57, Ford75, Brush678. If it's not used or anything else like that, then you could use it. If you change your mind about what you're going to sell, you could change your user ID, but you've only got 30 days. You've got every 30 days you can change it. Customers lose you and then they find you again, so it's okay, really. So then you've got PayPal. eBay owns PayPal, so it's like Hobson's Choice. You've got no choice but to use PayPal. On Amazon, there's no PayPal, but you must have an eBay account to trade with eBay, no matter if you're buying or you're selling. And but you can when you're when you're actually selling accept bank transfers and you can see other things like checks and so on coming in from your customers. Passwords. This is one area that people seem to understand least on the internet. It causes more problems than anything else going. What you hold in your accounts of all sorts of things like Facebook, Twitter, your bank account, Amazon, eBay. All sorts of things is your personal information. If somebody has your password, they can get into there and they can basically take your information. So they can steal your identity and they can use it. So you'll receive emails from the banks of PayPal, Amazon and eBay. What they want you to do is to log in. So if you do that, what happens is you quite simply give them your pa your user ID and your password and they will go into there and they will do things with your account and they will steal things from you. So when you receive these emails, scam emails as it's called, hover your mouse over the sender and you'll find if it's from eBay it will say it's from eBay at eBay.com or something like that okay. If you hover over the eBay email and you find it selling like G-R-E-T-Y at yahoo.zx, it's not eBay, it's a scam. Somebody's trying to get hold of your information. Now, if you happen to be tired and you do log in by mistake to a scam, go to the application you logged into and change the password. Now, that's right, just right now. Inform the help desk that you've just that you've just been dealing with, and tell them that you've just had a problem. They will ask you to send the 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 the, the email to them at their at their scam file, and quite simply, they will make sure that your account is safe. If you do that, you'll be perfectly safe. You should change your password regularly. It's something which is not done regularly by people at all. People I know who have had, had eBay for four or five years have never ever changed their password. Don't make the password easy to un easy to, to, to guess or to understand. Because something like this what got here first of all, ZYX $23 percentage five six seven, that's pretty hard to work out. But if you're June one two three four, that's quite simple. The other thing hint is to make eBay and PayPal passwords different. So it makes it difficult for people to do things, and that way people are, have difficulty in stealing your identity. So, thank you very much indeed for listening, and it's good.